Hello everyone, Master Claw here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Predator 2 Ultimate Warrior Predator from NECA Toys. So, before I get into this, I do need to stress that if you are a child and you are watching this, make sure you are watching with an adult's permission or with an adult, because the Predator films are rated R and they are not for kids. And the toys aren't really for kids either. Ages 17 and up. So, let's get right into this. So, the back of the box has this little blurb about the Predator, the Warrior Predator, that is. A student of ancient Yaucha fighting traditions, Warrior is one of the few elite hunters forged in fire by the Blood Ring, a combative fighting sport created ages ago when the Amengi invaders forced the Yaucha ancestors to fight one another in a Colosseum-style battle. As was the case hundreds of generations before, the use of energy weapons in this sport is not permitted, however mastery of melee weapons is essential to survive. In modern times, this combat tradition continues as a measure of strength and skill, pitting the strongest Yaucha fighters against vicious alien creatures, often xenomorphs, fighting to the death. Despite his elite status, Warrior continues to revisit the Blood Ring when not on hunts to keep his skills sharp. Celebrated for his victories, he's considered by many to be the toughest among all hunters, one of the eldest members of the Lost Tribe. Warrior is the trusted right hand of Greyback and is the weapons master for off-world missions in addition to acting as an effective plan B for taking down the most dangerous targets whenever necessary. Some hunters use a self-destruct device as a last resort, but the Lost Tribe calls him the Warrior. What a... Um, I'm not gonna say that word. Uh, bad, uh, uh yeah. I mean, kids are going to be watching, so I can't really swear. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> if they're watching this, they have their parents' permission. So, yeah, there's a bunch of other uh, Predator figures on the side. We've got some cross-selling, um, which we didn't have with the Spawn figure. Um, and, yeah, right in the front we've got um this badass so it has a it looks very graphic but also very painterly kind of like like a comic book um yeah so this was 37 dollars at target um and if we open this up like a book We get a good look at the figure and some of the uh, stuff that he comes with. Um, oh boy. Nope, I can't, I can't do that. Um, hang on. Yeah. Well, we will look more at that as soon as we get this guy out of the box. That's weird. Keeps making weird noises when it scrapes against the desk. It's not doing it anymore. Hang on. Oh well. Anyway. We will unbox this guy, um, and I will see you uh, as soon as he's out of the box. And we're back. Um, I just got the figure out of the box, um, along with, let's see, all these other um, accessories. We'll go through those in a minute, but I want to uh, go over the figure itself. The sculpt is impeccable. Like, this fishnet pattern, that is all sculpted in. That's all molded in. Um, the blades feel a little flimsy. The figure, despite having, like, holes at the bottom of his feet, um, 
doesn't really stand on his own. Of course, now that I say that, he does. Um, there's articulation in the head, um, articulation in the shoulders, the elbows are double jointed. There's a twist at the forearm. Um, the hands also twist. But that's also because they can be swapped out. Um, the torso has two joints, but they're a little tight. Um, the knees are double jointed. The, um, the hips are at a ball joint. Um, and yeah, also the also the plasma caster um, kind of swivels around. Um, let's get this guy balanced again. So, and then of course the head can be swapped out for this guy. That is one ugly motherfucker. Um, yeah. Um, so he comes with a spine attached to a skull, another skull, we'll call him Yorick, alas, um, a smart disc in its closed form, a combi stick in its retracted form, um, an open smart disc, and this, which can be attached to the plasma caster. In fact, let's do that right now. on correctly. Ah. Oh, okay. Guess that's a no-go. By the way, for these NECA figures, I do recommend saving the boxes because then they're easier to display, and so you can also keep all of these accessories in one place. Okay. Then, we've got the open combi stick, or the Yaucha Spear. The Yaucha Axe, which feels really sturdy. You know, the spike at the bottom. And then the Yaucha Club. Um, yeah, that also feels really sturdy. It has kind of like a, a vertebrae look to it. Um, which doesn't surprise me. So I'm not gonna bother swapping through the hands, but one interesting thing that I found is that this on the arm opens up and you can see there's a little bit of writing there. Some Yaucha symbols. Now, okay, I'm not sure if this is correct, but this piece and this piece uh, came unattached, and I had, you have to put those on. Um, um, yeah. I really like this bluish color that he's got going on. It seems very aquatic, I want to say. Um, Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. Um, so, a bit of the lore here. This is one of the predators at the end of Predator 2, who, come on. There. Who, at the end of the film, um, meets Danny Glover's character. Unless, it's been a while since I last saw the film. Was Danny Glover the actor, or was that actually the character's name? I get confused. People just refer to the character as Danny Glover. <laughs> um, you know, just like everyone <laughs> refers to uh, films, everyone refers to characters as just Morgan Freeman, or Tom Cruise, or Arnie. <laughs> yeah, so...
yeah, overall, this is a great figure. It comes with a lot of stuff. And I think it's money well spent. All right, play safe.